Hey Tubes, we're uh, moving right along here with the engine. It's starting to look good. We've got our pulley on here. This is a, this is a new pulley I ordered, and it uh, runs uh, runs perfect, perfectly true. And even the, the crankshaft and everything, you know, it's perfect. I don't know what it looks like on camera, but uh, it uh, absolutely absolutely runs out to zero, perfect. So we're happy with that. You know, it just just spins really easy. So I don't think we'll have any trouble with that. What we're going to do today is uh, I'm going to work on the exhaust. I got to do that before I uh, do anything with the intake. But uh, here's a problem we ran into, and uh, I'll show you the best solution I came up with. These heads are threaded, you know. They're uh, I think that's a half inch pipe thread there, you know. And I, we didn't want to uh, put something up there that was kind of bulky and ugly, you know. We could have just put a pipe nipple in there, and then uh, put a pipe union and everything, but that that would look like hell. So what I came up with is, I cut these. If you look at it, it's actually not a nipple. You know, there is a little uh, shoulder on there. So what I came up with was, uh, I got a pipe that would just about slip over it. So I got a little stud in there, and. Just that little little stub, it's about an inch. And what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to get uh, two square nuts and just drill through one of them and, and use uh, the nut end on the other side. But uh, let, me, let me set these up. And then put a slit in the pipe. Not till it, go, till it goes to the end here, but just, just barely to the end so I could actually... Uh, weld them two things on the bottom with a slit in the pipe and I'll be able to tighten it up. You'll, you'll, you'll understand a little better later when, uh, when it's all put together and everything but let me switch hands here. I don't know if I could uh, film with my left hand here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Here, where you guys at? There you go. Okay. So, and then what I'm going to do is once, once we have this uh, sleeve on there I got regular pipe fittings, like half inch, and we're going to weld them on there. I'm not going to use the threads. What I did is, uh, on the regular ones, you see it has this big hump, this big knuckle. Well, we cut them off because we don't need them. We don't have anything to, to, to bend a pipe here, so we we got we to gotta come up with stuff. So what I'm going to do is get this piece of pipe here. Sorry about the camera. Like I'm saying, I'm working with one hand here. And don't tell me about you should get a tripod and all this. I got it. I, I'm just not setting it up. So let me stand back here. Our pipes will be. Our pipes are going to be coming down on a 45 like that. Each one of them into a a pipe coming out the side and sticking out about two inches past the the pulley there. So what I got to do is cut these to size and tack them together and then uh, weld them up. Maybe I'll have Mike weld them, but once I, uh, I'll, I'll set this up a little better and show you exactly what's going on, but I'm going to try and make this, uh, I'm not going to try and make this video too long because this isn't the most entertaining uh, thing we're going to be doing, so we don't want to bore you to death. Uh, let me, uh, let me set some pipe up and start cutting and, and show you, show you, give you a little better idea. Okay. I sort of got a little mock-up going here. I got the, the first pipe coming down on a 45. I don't know if you can see that. But uh, it's pretty close. Now what I got to do is determine and take a measurement to put this one on here. And that's going to be uh, it's going to be a little different, a little, little tough because it's it's on a 45, but I got to see exactly where it's going to land and where I gotta put it on an angle and then I also want to fish mouth it so it so it fits on that pipe snugly. So let me uh let me throw you guys on a tripod and then we'll take a measurement. Okay. Got you on a 45 here. So actually these pipes have a line and which helps a lot right now. So uh make sure that's on a 45. I'm going to take a measurement from one end here, one edge here. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to get 
watching away. It looks like about two and a half to the far end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make them three inches and then I'll be able to cut that off because that'll be a flat. So once I determine the exact size it'll be easy because these other two are just going to be duplicates. Alright, let me cut a piece on 45, three inches. Alright. Alright, I cut three of these and they seem to work pretty good. Let me stick it up here. It's going to fit nice. Now I just got to I want to fish, fish mount the bottom of it so it uh, fits around that pipe a little better. Alright, let's try that. Alright, I cut these uh, little fish mounts in there. Look kind of wacky, but uh, you know, when they go on, you know, that's what you want. You want them to, let me see if I get around there. You want them to, to fit pretty flush so you can weld it. Alright, so I got, uh, I got the three of them done here. That's all we had to do was three, so. Let's uh, let's tape it together and mock it up, see what it looks like. Alright, I got it mocked up the way I like it. It looks like these holes are a little bigger, but they're not. You just, uh, they're just not twisted in the right place right now, but uh, I like it. The way it sweeps down, I even, even cut it on an angle here. You like that? It's uh, almost like the old Harleys. Let's see what we got here. This, this one got a little, uh, little cut. That one's, that one's not that prominent, but if you ever seen shotguns on a bike, there they're almost the same. So now, all I got to do is uh, mark off where the pipe is and and bore holes in there. And we'll tack it up and then uh, weld it. Should look pretty good. Alright, let me do that and uh, see what it looks like. Alright, tubes. I took the exhaust off our engine here. Got it over on a bench here. Cut the holes in it. So uh, my little things can sit on here. Got my head welder here. I ain't that one. Alright. So uh, we're going to. Uh, Tack this together and fully weld some of them, and uh, we'll see what it looks like. We'll see how she goes. All right. Got my top welder working on this here. Coming out pretty good. Yeah, they look good. They're already tacked together, I and mean, he's just uh, going around. All right. I'll show you when he's done. Alright, we got our exhaust on. We still didn't put the clamp on it, but uh, this thing is uh, nice. It's actually, look at it. See me? I'm shaking, I'm shaking the whole thing. Yeah, it's pretty snug. It is. Yeah. It's tight as a bullfrog's ass. So uh, we like that. Like I said, we still got to manufacture the, the clips we're going to do out of these, uh, these nuts, but uh, for now, that's good. And I, I got to clean it up, make it all. We're going to make it look like all one, one pipe and stuff. So. Uh, we're happy with it. Me and Mike, both. Look at it. Look at that. I like it. Stand back. Stand back. Stand back. Stand back, tubes. Stand there we back. go. It does. Spin the crank, Mike. Spin the crank. Look at that. Look at that. Look at it spinning on the other side there. Incredible. Incredible, Mike. Okay. All right. I think that's going to do it for this uh, video, tube. I'm gonna I'm gonna clean the pipes up and make them look good, and then then I can start on the intake. So that'll be another video. All right. Say goodbye, Mike. See you later. All right, tubes. Enough of this.